featuring an all new 3.5 liter yes dual overhead cam yes no VTEC wait V6 wait yeah where's the VTEC Welcome to Texas Truck Channel, I'm Brian. I'm Greg. And today we are driving the all new, ground up, new architecture and everything, Honda Pilot. Now I've got the Monroney right here, Craig. First question, how much is it? Um, 48. 50,150. Mm. But that's everything in, that's destination and everything. And there's one option on this, and it's the diffused sky pearl paint Ooh. at $455. That's uh. it. Everything else comes with trail support, but that's the beauty is that we'll get that. Don't worry, we'll get that. The beauty is that it is a trail support and unlike the previous trail sports, you get more than just a badge. You get bespoke wheels and tires, you get increased ride height and you get actual skid plates. We'll do our best to cover that here, but stay tuned for a full technical review. We're gonna deep dive into all that stuff. But let's start with the looks. Craig, I've asked a lot of people about this and I've gotten clear answers from male and female viewers. Women say they like the previous generation a little bit better. And guys who never consider the pilot go, man, that looks cool. I like that. So I think they've gone with a more masculine, more rugged look. I think rugged is really the term that I would use for this. And I'll be honest, I think it looks pretty cool. I think it's a good look for a three-row crossover. It looks capable. Stay in it all the way to the floor. All right, let up. There you go. You got it. Yeah. And the system just works. Yeah. It just works. So let's come down to the front. So. Obviously, you've got the giant Honda logo, which doubles as a radar sensor, which we like. It doesn't have some separate thing down here. These are your pilot holes for if you live in Texas. Oh, you, pilot holes. Pilot you holes. You like that? Dad jokes? If you have a front license plate, you can do that. See this grill, Craig? Yes. Active shutters down here. Nice. That also means no tow hooks. Does that help worse than the gas mileage? <laughs> no, it helps make the mileage better. Oh. But this okay. does have recovery points. They are underneath, but you don't have exposed tow hooks like you would on like a Jeep or a pickup truck or something like that. Hmm. There are recovery points front and rear. The trail sport specific just so you know okay also the badge which is really why you want the trail sport that right there that's so right on the corner honda lighting i don't know about you craig but these lights are bright as hell they are really really good i had no problem with them they don't do the following like some mazda products will do where they lead with the steering but i still like them nonetheless yeah they do work well and uh auto high beams work flawlessly F great i didn't get to test that thank you for pointing that out you've got an air curtain here it's active uh even family crossovers care about aerodynamics now that helps for fuel mileage that's all about fuel mileage that's all it is check out the wheel and tire craig this is an 18 inch wheel this wheel is only available on the trail sport and the design looks to me like it belongs in a sport compact it's really cool. Multiple spokes. You know, it looks awesome. It looks great, but they're really thick and beefy and really strong. That's a pretty good bite on that tire, too. We're getting there next. So this is the trail con or train contact from Continental, and these are 18-inch wheels, so you get more sidewall than you would otherwise. They're 265, 6018s, and they have a lot of blocking and a lot of siping, and they're not noisy on the highway. I'm, I'm really happy with them. We're going to do the off-road hill test with this. We're going to see if they really have any grit, but optically, these are cool. And we do actually get a one inch lift on this, is that right? Or? You get an actual one inch lift okay, full so on. you get a little bit more height there. Yes, and your shocks and your springs are tuned specifically, so they're bespoke to trail sport. So if elites or LXs and EXs don't get that shock and, and spring. So it is specific to this. I'll bring it around the side, you get a black painted mirror cap. Like that. Goes with the black painted roof rail. Oh yes. Which is ready for your Instagram tent. Okay, got that covered. And you've got black painted door handles and it has the good um, passive touch. Passive touch, yeah. you put your hand in and it unlocks. Touch your finger there, it locks. Good system, there's no physical button. It just works well. What time it is? Okay, okay. Honey, you think that's what they're doing there? Oh, they did it right, yes. Man, this is a pass, Craig. If only Toyota could figure that out. Hmm, hmm. weird. I like that, that's good. All right, come around the back. You've got the wraparound tail light. You've lost the lobster claw a bit, but you still have a throwback to that. It's just they're more symmetrical and blocky. I, I, I like this, it looks good I think it looks good, yeah. Uh, it wasn't a complaint, by the way. Pilot or dimensional letters, these are flat black. It's over gloss black, which will get destroyed in car washes at some point. But for now, it looks great. Um, you have a bit of a built-in spoiler in the back, painted on the top, and flat black underneath it. Happy with that. Bring it on down to the rear. We had a question, Craig. We've reviewed this vehicle before in a really short version. Someone asked, hey, cool hitch, where's the plug? It's right mm. here. You remove this panel, you actually have to take out a screw in the bottom. This is very thick plastic, but it's very sturdy. <laughs> Most of the time you don't tow, so it's covered. I like that. <laughs> it's being real about it. But you can pop this off and it does have your tow plug right there. And this acts as a re an additional recovery point in the back. That's why uh, these hoops are so big. That's very good. Is. All right, let's hop under the hood. Time for the goodness, Craig. Ooh, that's a heavy hood. All right, prop ride. Let's do it. 
Look how high up it goes though. Oh, that's not right. I lied. It's super low. Okay, so this is the Honda. This is the new V6, three and a half liter. 285 horse. Wait, new three and a half liter. I thought the old one was a three and a half liter. It was, but this one's the, it's new because there's no more VTEC. Oh, no. Oh. We'll cover more on that in our full technical review. Craig will geek out about the goods and the bads here. But Honda made a choice. They said we can go turbo four popper, which some people love, some people hate, or we can say true to a higher displacement, torqueier at lower RPM V6. They made that choice and they had to make changes to make emissions work. That's what we have here. Really big air box on top of the motor. If you look at this engine bay, there's a bunch of room. The motor actually starts all the way down here. And um, kind of an interesting design. I think it's, I just think it's a lot of room down here. They've also, for design purposes, they've moved the A-pillar back further on purpose to give this longer nose look. Makes me feel like there should be a V8 under here. It, I don't know, there's a lot of room. It'd be kind of cool to see what Honda can do with that. Trail Sport R, Type R. <laughs> type R, yeah. Look right here, you've actually got an air inlet right under the hood. You get cold air coming through the grill, through this mesh, right into the intake. You effectively have a cold air intake from the factory. That's pretty cool. All that out of the way, let's uh, jump on the inside. All right, Brian, trying to do the interior of the new, all new Honda Pilot from the ground up. And we always like to start in the rear. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Canceled. All Canceled. right. <laughs> okay. Move back here. We get the awesome Honda packaging. We start right here with this little uh, shelf. Shelf? Yeah. So this is a hard side. Turn it over, Brian. We take it out really easy. It's a felt side. That way stuff doesn't slide around. I thought you were going to say soft side. Mm, soft side. Okay. But also, when you put it back, you don't have to go there. You can go down, and now you can put stuff in here, Look and it that. doesn't slide around. And when you get the seats down, which go down real easy, just pull this, flop down. Super simple. Comes right back up. And that's no, no motor easy peasy. Right yeah. No motor to break. Like that Too simple. a lot. And you've also got some charging back here. Let's check out the second row. All right, moving on to the second row or business class. You get plenty of room here and you get the wonderful Honda little armrest. I love that. Um, and we got a step through right here, Brian, because I want you to see the third row. Hit that little button on the side and it just easily folds forward oh, so the kids perfect. can climb in the back. Canadian feel? Plenty of room? Plenty of room. So, uh, but let's stay back here for a second. Let's show the people this. We get tri zone climate control so the kids can do this and bug you crazy. But it's okay, parents. Fear not. We have an override up front. We can shut them off if they're going crazy and annoying the crap out of you. Thank goodness. Right here, I've got Brian's phone in this beautiful, perfect little phone holder. Again, Honda knows how to do this. I got one over here on this side as well. And we've got some headroom. Brian, we've got a panoramic roof. Oh, Let's boy. do the test. Will you fit with a panoramic roof? And yes. I'm not surprised Absolutely. you do fit. With, with the pano. Better than a full-size truck. Yes, every full-size truck. By Amazing. Way, with a pano. Move to the front. Moving on to the front, Brian. First, we're going to turn it on because it's hot in here and I need some AC. And Canadian Phil is kind of burning up in the back. So we're going to get him some AC number one. Let's sync everything and we got him going. He's good to go. Look, Canadian Phil's really far back there and I, I'd like to talk to him. And so I do that by this right here. See this cabin talk? Uh, Canadian Phil, can, can you hear me now? Perfect. See, that's really nice. And I like that feature. That's pretty cool. Honda also learned our lessons from previous pilots. We still have a volume yep. knob. Thank goodness. We can thank the straight pipes for that. We don't have a tuning knob, but we have a, you know, a seek knob. That's okay. Everything else is Honda friendly or Honda family, I should say, and friendly. Um, very easy to read. Gauge cluster, hard to see maybe here at the sunlight, but it's easy to toggle through it. Um, you can get different modes. You can see fuel mileage, that sort of deal. More on that in a minute. You have a digital gauge on this side. You have an analog gauge on that side. You have nothing to the right or left here in this particular trim. In the Elite models and other trims up, you can get full digital on both sides, and then you get more information on the sides. Interesting that you don't get that in all these. You do get memory seats. You get, obviously, I think it's power. Yep, auto down, auto up, all mirrors or all windows. And we still have the camera. We still have the camera. Brian, that's a big feature. I'm glad you pointed that because that does not give you the mirror camera. It gives you just front, it's yeah, the Trail it's, Sport it's, camera. Right. For that, that's off the not trails. on all trims. Trail Sport gets that. Good point. And it's not for lane change like it used to be. It's not for lane change. That's gone. We'll talk more about that in the drive. Last but not least, Brian, controversial thing right here. We got a phone charger. Mine has worked every time I put it in there. Thank goodness. Mine has worked never time I put it in Brian's there. Mine's has worked never time. Yep. But we also, last Honda packaging thing, look at that. Uh, and that. And, and that, that. And that. And uh, that. It's just, it's everywhere. It's unbelievable. Let's go drive this. Let's okay. see what it does. All right, Brian, we're in the Trail Sport. Emphasis on Sport for the launch. Sport mode, traction control off, Sport mode, and the trans. Trans? Mission. It's not working. There it is. Got it. All right, engage. Oh. 60! 
Yes, yeah, Sean, we, <laughs> we did, did it. it. Oh, All right. Oh, okay, right. so Brian, we've got an all new. Oh, hang on, that was 8.09. Okay, 8.09. Yep. All new platform for the pilot. Yes, the new uh, Honda small truck platform, which Featured, tells you about the future. Featuring an all new 3.5 liter. Yes. Dual overhead cam. Yes. No VTEC. Wait. V6. Wait. Yeah. Where's the VTEC? Gone, baby. Why? In the name of emissions. <laughs> so basically, here's what they've done. All the car manufacturers have gone to. We'll do have a full technical dive on this. If you want yeah, to watch we'll that. get all the nerd stuff on that. But the real quick overview is, you can go small displacement and turbo. Right. Or you can make your naturally aspirated motor more, more emission friendly, and that's what Honda's done. So. The good news is we don't have to miss any turbos and we get that nice naturally aspirated okay. fuel. That's still there. That's fun to ring out. Um, it does make five more horsepower. So there's all that. So wait a minute. You're telling me that we lost the VTEC, yes. but that's what it took to keep the V6. Correct. I'll take that trade. I mean, I, I think it's a great trade. It. I'll take that trade because right. everything else, like we, the Atlas mm -hmm. right now, two liter turbo is what they want you to buy. Right. They technically make a V6. The Highlander, 2.4 turbo. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take the V6. And by the way, this thing is buttery smooth. Hey, there's no replacement for displacement. Darn skippy. Yes, it, and so the smooth part, let's go straight to that. Yep. Ride and drive, tell us how smooth it is. Well, first, first of, of all, this is Trailsport, yep. which means we have Trailsport specific springs and dampers mm -hmm. and one inch taller ride height and mm -hmm. 18s instead of 19s or 20s like the Elite would have. Yes. It rides great. It, it rides does, really good. It does ride really good, uh, definitely. Um, but pilots have always ridden really good. Well, fair. And so I guess what's more amazing about what the trail sport part is, you're getting off-road extra capability, but you're not losing any ride comfortability. That's that, the thing. Exactly. Yeah. You know, if you're the off-road guy and you're like, look, I just can't help myself. I need off-road capability or, or just the yeah. image. This still has some capability. Mm -hmm. And if you have someone in your family that doesn't care about that, they won't know that it's capable. Right. They'll drive it and it's not a Raptor or some like Jeep or something. There's no trade-offs. You also get the 10-speed automatic. Gone is the 9-speed ZF or this Honda 6-speed. This I'm is okay a with Honda in-house 10-speed automatic. Interesting. First debuted in the 2018 Odyssey. Now we get it in the Pilot. So let me chime in here. You own an Odyssey. Yep. And you have uh, this. Pilot. I'm sorry, Pilot. And you have the six-speed Honda. Yes. How's that, Craig? Uh, it's fine if you change the transmission fluid every other oil change. Okay. Which they do make easy to do. Okay. So, so make it so easy to spend a lot of fluid. Okay, got it. So hopefully this is better than that. Yeah. But I will say in, in our short-term week of having this, I've been happy with the 10-speed. It's been fun. Smooth, engaging. Very, very smooth. Never catch it out. Never You, don't, you don't even notice it shift, honestly. Totally. It's great. Yeah. So, um, Ryan, I want you to change lanes real quick. Do you just turn signal? Okay. Where's the camera? Where's the turn, turn, turn back? Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay, so gone are the cameras. Yeah. It used to, used be, to be there was a camera mount. Uh, basically, there was a backup camera mounted to that right passenger mirror. And I pictured that lane only over there. So it shot right behind you. You could see your blind spot when you're changing lanes. It was really nice. Popped up right on the screen. Right. Super intuitive. You could turn the camera off with a button on the side. It was really easy to use. That is gone in the name of cost. Basically, that camera used to be cheaper than sensors. Now no, sensors are cheaper than cameras, so we've lost it. You get your blind spot monitoring. The problem so. is, and it's funny, in the name of cheapness, Honda invented a really cool feature yeah. that now Kia is copying. I know. And Honda's like, no, no, it's still about the cheapness. Yeah. We're going back to the sensor. Yeah. And, and that's kind of where, look, this is a very comfortable, very capable, very practical. A ton of room in here. Because of the Honda packaging from the <laughs> beginning to the beginning. Right, right. It's, this works great for a family. For sure, except the seats are really hot. The seats are hot, but it is oh, Texas. These are black, so That's there's true. that. There's but that. here's the deal: if you have a if you have a family of kids and you don't want a minivan, get this. This is it. This is it. What's your take overall? Because you are a pilot owner, mm -hmm. would you consider the new one coming from the old one? I would actually, if I was going going to buy today, I would buy a previous gen pilot Ooh. with all the features instead of the new gen Ooh. pilot. Okay, okay, dive into that a little bit. Why is that? Because it feels like in the name of trying to sell more units, Volkswagen did this a while back. They went okay. for volume instead of upmarket. Okay. Um, we've we've lost some features that used to be leading edge. that used to be better, yeah. and it's kind of kind of disappointing to see. From the camera to some brake rotors to okay. some features, just just I'm gonna counterpoint. Fuel mileage. I'm gonna counterpoint real quick. I'm gonna take that with credibility because you're an owner, and I value that over my own opinion in a lot of ways. As an outsider. Mm -hmm. I think this looks really rugged. It's never looked cooler than it does now. And the Trail Sport does have credibility, which its competitors generally don't have. Having, yeah, having said all that, if I was going to buy a Pilot today, the new one, this is the one to get the Trail Sport package itself. It's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. They've and, done a good job of it. And the color is great too. Love the color scheme. You actually get some actual features of the Trail Sport. Right. Awesome. My takeaway is if you're a Honda person, you're not going to see any problem here. 
Absolutely not. And with that, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for a hill test on this and a technical deep dive. Dive. Deep, deep dive. Check us out on the socials. Thanks. Have a good one. <laughs>